Oh my god, this is unbelievable to me. The bench press keeps improving, the bench press keeps feeling amazing. From a year ago, this time last year, I was in absolute agony, unable to open up a freaking kitchen shelf, kitchen drawer without pain in my elbows. And uh, fast forward a year, and I'm not just feeling pain free, but I am progressing weekly. Weekly, I am progressing. The only session that I didn't add a rep or a set was the last session. And that, that session was uh, not the greatest. It was like the end of the day, work, a uh, whole host of different things in my way. I didn't really eat. So there was a whole bunch of conditions placed upon me that made me you know, not feel the greatest. Uh, so it took that to, for me to not add a set or a rep. Now I'm feeling amazing again. Uh, I hit 120 for five sets of five. Wide grip, feels amazing. Uh, it's one of those things, man, I don't know, you know, I'm sure you know. When you do a movement and it feels, just feels right. You know what I mean? Uh, some people squat for the first time and it just feels right for them. They feel like the joints are behaving like they're supposed to be behaving. Nothing's out of whack. Everything's just stacked and feeling great. For me, the squat felt not like that from the first time I touched the barbell. And this is kind of why I got obsessed with, with learning the intricacies and, 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 uh, and, and what's going on with it. Because uh, it was so difficult for me. I doubt I would have fallen in love with a movement that just came naturally, as, as ironic as that sounds. Uh, the bench press, for me, I was like, you know what? The first time I touched it, I was like, you know what? I just want to narrow grip it, you know, full range of motion, you know, all that stuff. Fantastic. And for years, I would bench and then stop and then bench and then stop. It would Usually, it would be kind of like the shoulder would kind of feel a little bit off or something. It just didn't feel right. So, some volume, great. A bit more volume, not great. And then I stop because, well, well you know, I'm uh, struggling with the damn squat to work out what's going on there. And the last thing I want to do is have another thing on top of the main thing uh, uh, causing me troubles. So, I just, you know, would often stop. It was like a love-hate relationship. Uh, earlier this year, I went on a rampage, uh, setting PRs like session by session on the, on the bench. And that came as a result of me working out the elbow pain that I had. Uh, I, I linked up with some videos from the arm wrestling world and they were talking about pronation, supination. Makes sense, right? These guys would, would have the best forearms and, and, and elbows and all that stuff. So that was a great discovery for me. They sorted me out. Uh, I went on my merry way, started benching a lot, and I started progressing really well. But then it got to a point where I needed to do so much of this freaking arm wrestling stuff that was taking a lot of my time. Uh, and so then naturally, I kind of stopped benching uh, because, it, you know, I got to 152 bench press and I was like, oh, okay, I can continue doing this. But I feel like this squat every day is becoming a bench every day. I'm just investing so much time into it. And really, my desires lie with the squat. So then I went and, and I sort of kind of put the bench press uh, on the back burner thinking, you know what, uh, there's other things in the bench press that I'm really, really uh, weak at and that's the wide. Let me try wide. That's going to get me back to 80 kilos or so. That's where I started. Let's just start building up the wide bench press. I'm sure my shoulders and my pecs and the rest of it will appreciate it. And then that gives me the ability to not do so much arm wrestling work because, you know, 80 kilos is not going to hurt me. So I did that. And But what I found was progress week by week, day by day, it seemed every session that I went in, uh, my bench press was improving, the wide bench press that is. So I kind of set myself an arbitrary kind of like goal of hitting a five by five on a weight. So five by five on 80 kilos, and then I'll go up to 90 kilos and then 100 kilos as soon as I hit five sets of five. Well, I just kept hitting it, kept hitting it, kept hitting it. Either I would add a, a, a rep or a set or something like that. I kept progressing and it's been several months now that I've been doing this. Today, I hit 120 for 5x5. Five five. So next next session, I'm going to put 130 on the bar. And I'm going to try to try get 130 for one set of 5. And then the next session, I'll try and get a set of 5 plus maybe a set of 3 on the following set. And so on and so on. I'll just keep building like that. But the main thing with all of this is that I'm not doing any arm wrestling work. I'm not doing any elbow uh, prehab rehab. Nothing. For some reason, and this is, the, this is the, the mystery to me. For some reason, the wide bench press keeps my elbows happy. Not just happy, but it seems to work it out, man. My elbows feel amazing and my forearms get pumped 
I'm not kidding. I get a pump in my forearms, in the flexes, uh, when I do bench press in a wide grip where my ring finger, sorry, my index finger is on, my, on, on the rings. So in one way, I'm doing both of these things that I was doing before in one movement. I'm doing the narrow bench and the arm wrestling work all rolled up into one exercise, which is the wide grip bench press. And so now I'm in a situation where it's one-to-one ratio. Every rep that I do on the wide bench press, I do one rep for the prehab, rehab of the elbows. So I can go freaking crazy with it. I'm going crazy with it because it's time efficient, right? I don't need to do two different exercises to progress an exercise. I just keep on smashing the hell out of this and it just keeps on rewarding me. So I don't know what's going on, man. Honestly, I can't really explain why the wide grip fries the, the, the forearms this much, but it does. And because of that, my elbows are feeling great. It's a mystery to me. I I don't see a reason why it should be like that. Um, Maybe because, I'm I'm just theorizing here, maybe because my hands are so wide, there's like this uh, friction requirement in order for me to keep the bar in my hands. Otherwise, my hands would slip to the end of the bar. So I'm gripping really hard. But am I gripping really hard? I don't think I'm gripping really hard. I don't know. It's it's a it's a mystery to me. Uh, I wish I wish the squat worked that way. Oh my god! I wish the works the, the, the squat worked that way. Although I feel like I am onto something big time with this freaking horse stance. This horse stance, I feel like it's a one to one ratio as well. The more I do it, the better I feel. No soreness. I just keep on stacking my chips with this horse stance. And so today I came in. I was like, you know what? Let me just warm up with it. I did one set and I'm like, oh my God, this feels so good. <laughs> feels so good. Let me do another set. I ended up doing five sets, which is probably too many uh, based upon what I did yesterday. But it just feels like rehab, prehab work, man. It doesn't feel like I'm working like a hypertrophy or a strength um, exercise. I, I feel like I'm literally just stretching. It just feels amazing. I, I can't really explain it. Um, I just feel absolutely great. Uh, the other day, I went to pick my my kids from school, and um, we started playing basketball there at the, at the basketball court uh, after school with the kids. And I'm running around, jumping, running around, jumping. And in the past, when I would squat a lot, jumping, running, or any sort of like power movements would produce hip pain. Sometimes, most of the time, in the right, but sometimes also in the left. Well, after a few days of those of those sets of horse stands, none of that, man. I felt like a ballerina on that basketball court running uh, with the kids. That is a special feeling, man. That is a special. That's such an indicator that whatever is going on. And once again, I don't quite understand what's going on with the horse stands. Kind of like I don't understand what's happening with the wide bench. It just freaking works, dude. It just works. It feels like all of these muscles are working in unison. And, and it's all kind of like balance, fantastic. And it's just not producing any discomfort. Isn't that great with movement when you do something and it feels freaking great? You know, so many years I've trained, so many years, you, you know, you would hear that Louis Simmons and all these like really accomplished uh, powerlifters and weightlifters, they will talk about, you know, you do exercise and then you have to have an off season to, you know, save your joints. And so, you know, I, I would do that. I would have periods of, pushing really hard and then and then you know regressing a little bit with the weights to, to allow the joints to kind of calm down but I just couldn't I just couldn't accept that why are the joints pissed off man why what's going on why are they pissed off are we not made to move or are we moving incorrectly and that's what's happening I just want to know why and so this transition from narrow to wide dude it feels freaking amazing it feels like the more I do it the better it is so now I'm kind of thinking to myself, what if I moved like that all the time? Interesting. And then last night I'm freaking watching the, the Cleveland Cavaliers play the Lakers. Absolutely freaking smashed them. I'm watching them play, man, and I'm seeing uh, Donovan Mitchell, right? The, the, the superstar from, from Cleveland, uh, the 6'4'5 shooting guard. Dude, he's, he's, he's all about wide stance, dude. Like he, he's shot... The way he elevates, his, his, his feet are like outside shoulder width. And he's, this is a big dude, right? He's running and then, and then kind of does like a stride step. 
elevates, but he jumps with a wide stance. Automatically, I'm like now noticing every freaking everybody that's got this wide stance thing going on. I'm like, I bet he doesn't have hip pain. I bet he doesn't have hip pain if he's that good at, at, at producing power from a wide position. And then he elevates up and he shoots and he's all balanced. I've always kind of looked at him, Donovan Mitchell, like as a, as a really balanced jump shooter. And if you know anything about basketball, I mean, I certainly spend my whole, um, you know, youth playing basketball. But when you elevate, you don't want to elevate off balance. You don't want to be fading left, right, back, you know, whichever way. You want to go straight up so you can reproduce the same, follow through the same technique every time. And if you can reproduce that, then you have better consistency and better shooting percentages. This guy elevates with a wide stance. And so it eliminates that lateral uh, risk of leaning this way, that way, or fading straight up, shot, bang. Oh my God. And I'm thinking his hips are really, really strong. I bet his legs are strong because he's in a wide stance. All of that horse stance crap. I'm just thinking that he's probably really proficient with that because his hips are really balanced. So, and then obviously all that stuff that Louis Simmons used to talk about, you develop that freaking wide stance, man. You're going to be able to produce power in narrow. But if you, all you do is narrow, you will not be able to produce wide. Why that is, I do not know. I don't quite understand it. It, ha- it probably has something to do with more mus- muscle recruitment, probably something to do with the adductors. If the adductors get short, they get pissed off, pulls everything out of whack. You don't have hip rotation, internal or external. It just always goes to shit. With the bench press... Why does a wide bench press feel better? Maybe because the angles involved are less acute. The elbow doesn't collapse completely. The shoulder doesn't go into extension completely. Maybe it's just milder ankles, uh, milder angles, not ankles, angles. And because they're milder positions, we are able to exist in them better. Um, And then obviously I, I start thinking about that study which showed that if you want athleticism, uh, it's probably better for you to be squatting quarter squats than full ATG squats. I mean, that was a, a, a very uh, turbulent study. You know, uh, there was a lot, a lot of turbulence from people in all, all communities talking about that after me fully believing that ATG is the best way to go. And I still believe that in terms of joint uh, health and whatnot, that that's the best way to go about it. But you know, maybe that's something that I will reconsider down the track as well. Maybe there's something to that as well. I don't know, man. Like, I've, I would have never guessed I'm, I'll be benching wide like that. I would have never be, uh, bet my my money that Ivan will come back and, and say horse stance is the best. You know, get those knees out, you know, spread those legs. But in terms of, like, health, I mean, you can you can like aesthetics as much as you want. This, that, this way, the other way. But when you got pain, dude, what are we talking about here, dude? I mean, you... <laughs> I don't care, man. Like, I don't really care how it looks anymore. Like, health is the most important thing man, to me. You know, health is the most important. If, if, if a movement is hurting me, no matter how sexy it is, I'm not interested in it. It's simple as that, man. I just, I'm, I'm not keen to exist that way. I want to I wanna be able to lift until I'm freaking 95, 99, 100, whatever I end up living. That's the goal. The goal is not to be in agony every single day and struggle driving a car because you did some narrow ATG squats. Screw that, man. I, I'm sick of it, man. I want to do something that makes me feel good. And if, if wide is making the narrow feel good and strong, what are we talking about, dude? Is there anything we can talk about? It's uh, simple as that. Do what freaking your body rewards you with. And that's the wide, man. Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.